Hey guys, Philip Passmore here, and I wanted to talk about cloaking devices, um, and jamming devices actually. Uh, the cloaking device makes you invisible, obviously. The jamming removes, okay, you see the sort of green diamond shape, which is on everything, or well, unless they're not green. Um, well, the jamming just removes that, which means missiles can't lock onto you, it's, it's handy. Now, that said, you need one per ship, both the same, you don't need any more than one of the cloaker or the jammer. The issue you will find is every 10 blocks, the cloaking device is more energy intensive, much more energy intensive, it's about 100 energy per block. That's a lot of energy, an awful lot of energy. And the jamming device, I'm not actually sure how much the jamming device needs. It's nowhere near as much as the cloaking. But that kind of puts the amount of energy you need in perspective. It's a huge amount, absolutely massive amount of energy required. This doesn't drain, this can stay indefinitely invisible. It can run both the jammer and the invisibility cloak pretty much constantly. Um, if I jump into a ship core, okay, activate the cloaking device, activate the jamming device. And if you can see on the bottom of my screen, the blue bar showing energy usage isn't moving. Uh, if I go on to build mode, you can see my power remains at max capacity. I'm producing more power. Then the cloaking device and the jamming device are currently using. And the only issue is you can't, you still see your ship. If I was to get out of the ship, it would uncloak and the jammer would turn itself off. And yeah, it's a little bit annoying. So I'm going to have to rope somebody else in to demonstrate this. But before I do that, basically you need to max out power. And I, I mean really max out your power capacity. You need a lot of power. I mean this is 28 blocks. 28 blocks and it's nearly entirely power generators. So that is something to bear in mind. And the main thing I've got to say though is it, it really comes down to how well you can design your power systems. So you need to know that you have to extend outwards to get more power. I mean, I can increase power by building here, uh, but I don't increase capacity that much. In fact, I only increase by a small amount. But if I was to go over here, I would just increase capacity by 300. And uh, it's just how the power system in the game works. It actually makes sense when you think about it. Um, it's all about expanding the dimensions it covers. Uh, it's the same for a few other things, mainly power. The same with power tankers, actually. So, that said, I'll see if I can drag Killmall online and get him to fly this. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if he can. if the cloaking works. Otherwise, it might be glitched. <laughs> we'll find out. Hey guys, um, slight change of plans. That little scout ship I made, I've made, I've actually made an improved version. This is an actual ship designed for combat and salvaging. It does a nice job, and the AI cannot cope with it at all. It can, of course, cloak and jam its signal. Now, this isn't a hundred percent perfect. It's great for against AI though. Um, the AI just cannot cope at all. It is quite amusing to watch them as you uncloak, fire a few blasts, cloak again. They turn to look at you, or where you used to be, and then they turn back. You just uncloak again and fire again. And you can easily destroy them, particularly the default pirate ship, as it's next to no challenge at all. So yeah, this is mostly, well, it does have a nice little missile system. 
but really it's designed to get close and attack when the opponent isn't ready. As you can see I've had to skimp on hole plating, shields, basically anything which uses blocks. <laughs> Um, it uses about what a thousand NG per ten block. I could actually put quite a few shield modules on this one. Maybe I should do that. But to really show it, uh, I'm gonna get my friend here, Anishi, to actually hop in and test out my ship, and he should be able to, without any difficulty. Um, he should be able to um, cloak and jam. This will stay cloaked and jamming um, its signature indefinitely um, at the moment. There we go. That's jamming and cloak both on and power is remaining at full capacity. I can go at full speed and have no power drain. It, it's really really handy actually. Doesn't look good. Um, Again, at least most people won't see it. It'd be cloaked. I can sit around cloaked nearly all the time. And yeah, that it is kind of nice. I've it's fine. It's nice to finally work out how to cloak a ship because I've been building because I've been building ships kind of like that, and then trying to put cloaking in, and finding it doesn't work because I've put so much hole plate in and basically stuff that you don't need if you're building a cloaking ship so I hope this is interesting and helps you guys uh, I'm gonna do some film over this cloaked in a second once um, Hanashi gets back he's just I think he's looking at how to make turrets at the moment so I'll be back in a second and hopefully he'll shut off the cloaking ability and the jamming it isn't 100% perfect for PvP and I'll explain why in a second so Okay, do you want to hit cloak? And it's gone. And it kind of flipped back for a second. Uh, do you want to try jamming? Because you can still see the. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Almost killed me. Um... Okay, there. There we go. And so, yep, there's nothing there. And if I go on to. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> You're going to ram me. Oh, wow. Oh, did that work? A little bit too close, yeah. I can see you on the navigation. So yeah, I mean, that's the main flaw with a cloaking device for PvP. Is you can actually tell how far you are away. Oops, damn it. <laughs> what, when I scroll, it actually scrolls over to the weapon system. So if I suddenly find myself in little pieces, I know why. Yeah, that's yeah. on the um, catalogue though, so... We can set that to the pirates to use if we really wanted to. We probably don't. I don't know how they cope with cloaking devices. I, I don't really want to try. <laughs> it's pretty damn cool though. It might not look yeah. good. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for helping me. No problem.